So I do realize um, not one size fits all. And over the last few years, I've just been super curious about my body and the information I've received from others. I'm very experimental with my own body and um, really um, unfolding with the womb's wisdom with regard to the cold and breath work. Uh, I do realize that this is uh, my experience and the perception of other women around the world could be influenced culturally, physically, um, and emotionally. All the different impacts that have happened to different women around the world will come to a different conclusion. So this is just, as I say, my accounts from my experience and perhaps not a blanket one, but it is an invitation to explore your own body um, with regards to breath work and the cold. So I've been doing the Wim Hof method now pretty much every day, apart from just recently. Um, when I say recently, in the last year or two, where I've been traveling so much that maybe I haven't had the opportunity to do ice baths or natural dips, but I do cold showers. And my breathing, uh, the Wim Hof method breathing, one of the pillars, um, I kind of mix it up. So sometimes I do it every day, sometimes I do it uh, three times a week or two times a week or whenever, evenings only, mornings only. So, but I like doing that. Uh, I think I only mix it up because of um, my, my weeks are not routine, shall we say, which uh, suits me down to the ground. Um, anyway. It's about nine years and I started when I was 36, I'm now 45 um, and I wanted to talk to you about my menstrual cycle or periods or moon cycles uh, depending on how you like to, what you like to call it but I feel over nine years I'm kind of, I kind of have a lot of experience uh, with it especially as I've been committing to the method uh, pretty much every day since 2016 in Poland um, and when I first started I don't know if you guys know my story but uh, ow, I'm just gonna move you this way um, I was living very detached uh, from I suppose my womb I was you know, typical in, in my year of growing up I was on the I was on the pill in the pill uh, regulated my periods and it allowed it um, yeah I kind of just be on time and and all good really kind of switch off off from it and not think anything more in fact I used tampons and I didn't even know I could feel the bleed so uh, when I discovered the Wim Hof method us women talk and I realized that there's a cup so now I use the cup and then since using the cup I can feel uh, the lining come down I can feel when I bleed um, and I was in Prague and this woman uh, who's a participant at our workshop she said oh you can control your bleeding so when you go to the toilet you can um, also uh, produce blood you know and then you can hold on to the blood by kegels throughout the rest of the time and I'm like wow that would be amazing um, and I never really understood that but it's just so beautiful that it's possible. So a couple of years down the line, I really understood what she meant. And I could feel when it's kind of full. And then when I do go to the toilet, it's, it can, uh, the flow can start. And I just think that's incredible. But how I've got there is to be more aware of my cycle and bleeds and, and when it bleeds, uh, different times of the day um, and how I feel when I feel the, the, the flow. And it's incredible. I was so detached for, I don't know, 20, 20 years of my life. And actually it's a, it's a beautiful process. So I started off just going into the water every day. It didn't matter when I was on my cycle. When I was day one, day two, or the pre, I was just doing it and loving it. And that suited me and my body. Um, it was lockdown actually when I realized when you just stop and pause uh, and I became aware of my womb and, and I had uh, uh, I was given a womb meditation which I still do now and it's, it's amazing and I was like 
oh, I didn't realize that you could talk to your womb. This is the time that I realized that chakras and energy and frequency really can be to the individual organ or you can send love and light there. Way too woo when I first started in 2016 and was just go, go, go with the method and sharing that actually lockdown allowed me to pause and just feel back into my body. And uh, it was amazing. <laughs> what I learned was when I was on my cycle and I go into the cold water, uh, I wouldn't bleed for about four hours, four to six hours later, to, to the extent that I thought, oh, it's over. My period's over, great. And actually it wasn't over. It was just later on, uh, it was like paused. And what I can think of from that is that my body was still in fight, flight, freeze, even though it was a two minute dip or whatever. I come out, I feel good. I don't feel cold afterwards, um, but my body or my womb was just making sure. So maybe I fully relaxed or the, the flow started when I was fully in my rest and digest. So I did find that, uh, I find that incredible that the, the body is aware of the dangers or how you feel. Um, and it can take four to six hours to probably fully recover because in my head I was like I thought I recovered Why at the time I put my clothes on but actually my body was just finding its way and then with the breath work Because um, I kind of wanted my moon cycle To be over quickly like who wants the heavy flow to last so what I discovered by accident Is that when I was doing the Wim Hof breathing and we were doing the hold and squeeze and then you let the, uh, the uh, breath go. So this could be at the, return, at the end of the recovery time for 15 seconds or when you're doing the power breathing. And I found out then that I just had more flow after the squeeze and literally um, the cup that's holding shot out. So a bit too graphic maybe for some people, but it is what it is. Yes, yeah, so I was like, wow, what happened there? And I was like, oh, and it was just a lot more blood and the blood was uh, very red. So I was like, okay, does that mean I could do the power breathing throughout my cycle and then the cycle will be over quicker? So I tried that and it was, uh, it was probably over by one less day, which I was very excited about. And, um, and then I spoke to a couple of yoginis and like, yes, we should do any of that breathing on your moon cycle. And I was like, oh, okay. I did not know this. And I also learned that you shouldn't do yoga poses or inversions on your moon cycle again i did not know this so i was like okay and i kind of understand now why so it led it sort of like made me think maybe and i spoke to my friend in prague that maybe i'm forcing my womb to doing something that's not natural which is to bleed faster quicker so it'll be over quicker but it's very unnatural and then since then um my periods have become very heavy only heavy for a couple of days it's like a tap and it's really uncomfortable heavy I don't get any cramps per se but i do feel the lining coming down so now i just do month by month see how i feel i can still go into the water when i'm on my period pre-period day one and day two i don't mind i prefer sometimes depending on my lifestyle if i'm going back to a cold bath um, probably prefer not to on my day two or day one just because I want the flow to happen naturally my friend in Prague really like yeah it made so much sense it's not natural to uh, put the uterus in cold water when you're on your period but if you're flying from a flight from a village and you have to cross a river you're gonna do it so um, so now yes I just listen to my body I think I always I always have I'm just become more aware not to override it um, so yeah I find it super interesting sometimes I prefer not to go in day one day two sometimes I do uh, but then I'm aware how long it takes for me for the for the flow to come back um, I rarely get cramps uh, and having spoken to a few women people prefer going in for the cramps to reduce the inflammation or well, some people uh, do not because it's not it just doesn't feel right so I haven't really gone in or not in because of the cramps because uh, it doesn't really affect me it's just more the flow but 
definitely find it interesting. The one thing I will say, which I think there is a little bit of science behind it now, um, is that just before my cycle, uh, I do feel colder actually. So when I get in the water, it's like, oh, you know, you kind of have a natural check-in and you think, why is this colder to me than it should be? And then I think, is it emotional health? Did I not send that email? Did I not return a phone call? Or, and then I was like, oh, when am I due on? I was like, oh, in about four days. I'm like, okay. So my body is definitely guiding me through and letting me know where my cycle is, uh, which I think is fascinating. And I also know the breath changes slightly in my retention times when I'm on my cycle. So after all these years, um, I just find the connection super interesting. And, uh, and I'm really loving the fact that now once was detached, I think it's just through conditioning. Uh, now I'm very connected there and I know it holds. And I really, you know, it is a portal between spirituality and um, human. I just think it's the wisdom there is amazing. I've read some uh, amazing books where the women, the red tents, and just really guided by the elder and the wisdom and the knowledge that it can hold, as well as many things that we don't know yet. Um, and uh, holding the wisdom when I was in my mother's womb and stuff, but that's really drifting off the path of cycles and the cold and the breath. So I hope that this helps. Um, if not, it's just been an interesting talk and walk uh, since I'm on my own. Um, some people like to put the world to rights with their friends on a hike with me. Still not seen anyone. Uh, these were my thoughts. So do comment. Maybe I will. Do you see me? <laughs> do, um, do comment. Uh, maybe I can share more. Um, I did think I had uh, endometriosis because I had Epstein-Barr virus in the, in the blood of my arm and it was really really bad down there at one stage uh, but that too has passed but when I had the uh, retest there was no Epstein-Barr so that's super cool I did a few a few things um, before further investigation had to happen so I was very grateful for that and that is why I drink celery juice and that's why well one of the reasons why I do the heavy metal detox smoothie because I know that reduces the uh, virus for me so the Epstein Barr virus and it really has helped in five weeks that all cleared up so I actually wonder was it endometriosis because five weeks I think is quick time to uh, to put things back to normal but uh but yes there we are and uh, I did turn up that way to uh, go for a waterfall so I guess I'm heading in this direction for another awesome dip also I wanted to share just before my cycle or and during that I become really clumsy like I can knock things off spill a drink slip over slippery rocks which I know is quite quite a hazard anyway but um, yeah I find myself just being a, a borderline between carelessness uh, and clumsy so I'm going with clumsy uh, and that is uh, that's interesting because then I'm also very careful with what water I decide to go into if I do because it might not be as easy as it could be when I'm on my spring, summer, autumn parts of my cycle. So I'm also aware of that and I think that's just beautiful. So the vehicle that my soul lives in is a beautiful one, really intelligent, far more than I know. Or give it credit with, with my neocortex mind that uh, just makes me appreciate it even more and I should stop abusing it with processed food and, and sweets. 